Puma Abden smiled as she and her four-year-old son Jordan returned home on Sunday. The mother and son pair were seen in New York City arriving by car, then little Jordan held Abden's hand to walk inside. Abden, the vice chairwoman of Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign, cracked a smile as she took the little boy back home. Their outing came almost a month after Abden announced she was ending her six-year marriage to Anthony Weiner. Her decision came after it was revealed that Weiner had sent another woman a photo of his crotch with his four-year-old son lying next to him. But Weiner still appeared to spend time at the family's home, despite being under investigation by child services. He and his estranged wife were last seen at the residence last week, just before DailyMail.com revealed that Weiner had exchanged explicit texts with a 15-year-old girl. Weiner was also seen at the apartment mid-September, two weeks after Abe ended their marriage. The child services probe into her handling of Jordan came after the previous scandal concerning his photo with Jordan. Anthony and I remain devoted to doing what is best for our son, who is the line of our life, Abden said in the statement announcing her divorce. Weiner confirmed in early September that child welfare authorities were looking into him. Authorities in New York and North Carolina have launched an investigation on the disgraced congressman. The office of Jill Westmoreland Rose, the U.S. attorney for the Western District of North Carolina in Charlotte, has begun investigative efforts, a spokeswoman said. Prosecutor Preet Bharara, one of the toughest in America, has issued a subpoena for her cell phone and other electronic records. The 15-year-old said the online relationship began last January while she was a high school sophomore and lasted for several months. At one point during a Skype chat Weiner asked her to undress and touch herself, the girl said. Weiner did not deny exchanging flirtatious messages with the girl. I have repeatedly demonstrated terrible judgment about the people I have communicated with online and the things I have sent, he told the DailyMail.com in a statement. I am filled with regret and heartbroken for those I have hurt. While I have provided the Daily Mail with information showing that I have likely been the subject of a hoax, I have no one to blame but me for putting myself in this position. I am sorry. Weiner, pictured left on Wednesday, did not deny exchanging flirtatious messages with the girl, some of which are pictured right, slash slash. Data adverts. Add to a rapus, in red underscore player. Type, 636 by 1, id, in red player, slash slash share or comment on this article.